Like you, I have tried numerous disposable ureteroscopes out there. Some are good, some are not so good. Did you know that they're not the most popular across the world? I'm in front of the Pewson booth at the 2024 AUA Annual Convention with Bob Evanson. What is your title? President of a commercial? What does that mean? Uh, President of Pewson USA. President of Pewson USA, the man himself. <laughs> Did you know that they are the largest manufacturer of disposable ureteroscopes in the world? We all know about the other ones out there, but they're the largest in the world. I guess you guys decided to go out of the country first, right. and then now that you've scaled it, you are bringing it in here. I'm very excited to hear about this new product, or actually new to the U.S., yeah, new to the US. Uh, not yet available, maybe in a couple of months, couple months, but tell us a little bit about this uh, ureter scope. Yeah, so first of all, this is the thinnest scope on the market, 7.5 French, and the uniqueness between this scope and the other scope that we have on the market is we have a new handle with a direct working port, and 7.5 French with a 3.6 French working channel. Important to note, Dr. Lin, that this is outer diameter is 7.5 all the way through oh, the nice. scope. Yeah. And then what's really nice about this scope is it's a new ergonomic handle, but we also have what we call DIS, direct in scope suction. So this has a direct suction component to keep the field of view clean and clear. So with a press of a button, you can aspirate, suck up anything that's in the kidney, and uh, fantastic technology with this direct in-scope suction. So how are you able to make the outer diameter so small and yet keep a large working channel? That's the secret, right? <laughs> so we do really well with the real estate that we have. First of all, as I mentioned, this is the smallest, thinnest ureter scope on the market now with integrated suction. Yeah, that's um, amazing. We have another scope that has uh, a 9.2 French outer diameter, which is still very small in comparison. But we took our 3.6 French working channel, increased it by 111%, and now it's a 5.1 French working channel with a very small outer diameter. Brand new. So technology. The other Amazing. thing I can appreciate is that you include this yeah. adjustable biopsy pool, which by the way, I think ACA, Jairus ACMI used to sell this, or maybe they still do, but this yeah. is by far my favorite adjustable biopsy right. port. I don't like the ones that are fixed diameter. Yeah. It makes introducing the laser fiber, the, the, the stone extractor that I use, much more difficult. Sometimes the stone extractors are damaged trying to introduce that. Right. But you, you, know, you, you pretty much remove the friction points, right? Instead of having to open up another supply, you included it, which I, I, I can really appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. We, we're really excited. We look at innovation. We look at some problems that we can improve. The ergonomics, as I mentioned, this is a direct working port. This is one of the only direct working ports you can get a larger fiber down the working channel instead of having to come in on an angle and down, which sometimes gets caught in, in reusables and single use. But you're absolutely right. This TUI, this TUI Bors, this integrated seal, uh, it's just a small piece that we can add to the scope add some additional functionality to it, ease of use, reducing the cost. Uh, again, we're the most innovative scope on the market with really competitive pricing. Yeah, speaking of pricing, I guess, do you want, do you want to discuss what is the suggested <laughs> MSRP? I mean, obviously, depending on volume, you can always negotiate that, yeah, but right? Altador, what is the MSRP on this particular scope? So let me suggest it this way. Um, we're about half the cost of market leaders in the U.S. So um, that's really significant when you're talking about ambulatory surgery centers or hospital cost to be about that price, less than half, uh, it, it's very significant. And the reason we can do that, as you mentioned in the beginning, Dr. Lin, is we're the global leaders. So anybody that uses it in India or China or Europe helps drive our universal cost down. And we're a direct manufacturer, so we don't take another scope put our name on it, for example. We're the Which I see all the time. All the time. Uh, we're the manufacturer here in the U.S. And, and really looking forward to adding this product to the armamentarium of the physicians. So tell us, okay, so you get the scope, disposable. Yeah. I, I worry about carbon footprint. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I worry about my kids, their kids, and their kids. Yeah. Tell us about the carbon footprint about this yeah, product. Great point. So this typically goes into the bio burden category. So this typically gets incinerated. And when you, there's a couple studies, happy to send them to you, uh, that talk about the carbon footprint in comparison to the reprocessing cost, the PPE that's associated, uh, the Cytex material, the water associated. So we're actually less of a carbon of a carbon footprint 
than taking a reusable scope and reprocessing over and over and over again. Well, that's true. That's really, really impressive. Really powerful. Okay, so you hit the scope. I love the inline yeah, isn't that nice? working port here. Yeah. And what does this plug into? Yeah, it plugs directly into our PV300. So this is our integrated high definition processor. And people say, well, it's a small screen. This is portable. It's battery power, so you can go bedside if you need it, emergency wow. room and so forth for those that are on call. Um, but we also push our screen up to this integrated 19-inch monitor. But we also do uh, integration into your tower. So your OR tower, video tower, we can very simply plug into that with uh, HDMI or SDI. So HDMI, SDI yeah. output yeah. capable from this little processing unit Correct. to any pretty much any monitor. Yeah. Heck, I can hook it up to my your TV. Office TV. That's right, exactly. Um, and this is our integrated tower for the operating room. We have a little bit smaller one for clinics. Uh, and most often we put two or three of these in for the physicians that's doing a lot of cases. And they can go sisto to sisto. It's really great for the staff. This is our single use cystoscope. So you have a, a single use cystoscope as well, single -use which, cystoscope. which has the same suction capability. Interesting. Correct. So, it, so I can. I can think of it, if I have a patient who did not empty his bladder, you know, a lot of these guys with BPH, not emptying the bladder, and then I'm doing cysto and I see a lot of urine, I can evacuate that first and then turn on my irrigation fluid so I can get a better, better feel the view in the bladder. Absolutely correct. And what's nice about this, this is indicated for PCNLs. So when you have to do a, a, a PERC-NEF case and you can go in, uh, deploy the aspiration, suck the stones up, bigger stones, larger working channel. Um, this deflects in both directions, 210, which is fantastic, uh, single use. And in terms of, again, the total cost of ownership is significantly less than a reusable scope. Wow, good to know. And it integrates into the same box. Correct. Plugs in exactly the same port. Uh, we actually have three ureteroscopes that are going to be on the market, along with our single use cystoscope. So what is the rate limiting factor in getting this to the market? We still have to wait a couple of months, huh? Yeah, great point. So we have the number one used ureter scope on the market now inside the U.S. Uh, uh, that's a 7.5 French without direct in-scope suction. That's still the world leader. Um, and then we have the integrated suction in the cystoscope. The next two scopes that will be here in just a couple months are the direct in-scope suction for both the 7.5 and the 9 French. Well, this is very exciting stuff. You know, you. Pewson, being such a large uh, disposable scope manufacturer, I never heard of it until yeah. uh, the AUA. So, first of all, thanks for exhibiting at the AUA, thank you. and yeah. thank you for talking to us. You bet. It's a pleasure. Great to see you again. All right. Questions or comments, leave them below. See ya. Thank you.